for this circuit I need to find three currents I1, I2 and I0 so from observation we can see that I0 will be 0 because there is no return path for I0 if there is a current in this branch there is no way it can come back it goes here but there is no return path this one is a open this is an open so I0 will be 0 that's there this is a voltage controlled current source the control voltage is this one VD so I will just erase this part so VD is the control voltage so we can just apply a voltage divider rule to find VD so VD will be 18 is this volt uh, this voltage supply voltage and 12 ohms 6 ohms these are in series so VD will be 18 over 12 plus 6 times 6 so that will be 6 volts so that's VD so this current will be VD over 2 so this current will be 3 amps which is downwards so I will just write 3 amps here 3 amperes current that is going downwards now this current will of course go from here it will go in this direction and that current will be divided uh, between these two branches so both I1 and I2 we can see the direction is downwards but the actual current will be upwards so they will be negative and we can apply current divider rule to find their values 10 and 5 so basically I1 will be uh, the current here is 3 amps so 3 over 10 plus 5 times I1 is 10 ohms the current through the 10 ohms uh, resistance so it will be multiplied by 5 so that will be 1 amps and I2 will be of course 2 minus 1 that is uh, 2 amperes or we could apply we could have applied uh, current divider rule then I would have multiplied by so that would be 3 uh, 5 plus 10 and since I am trying to find the current through the 5 uh, ohms resistance so I will multiply by 10 which is I2 so that would become uh, 2 amperes here so 15 yes that would be 2 amperes so these are the two currents and I0 is 0 